Hello and welcome to my channel. It is fall, you guys. It's fall. I think it's fall. I feel like fall. It's fall if you ask me. If you are not subscribed, what are you doing? If you are subscribed, what's good? We lock in. What's good, baby? Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Check out my other videos if you have not. And then um comment because y'all rude and shit. Cause y'all never talk back. Like, what? But okay, y'all. I'm just so happy it's fall. Like I okay, so I have like a love hate relationship with fall. Um, I hate fall because of layers. Layers do not look right with my body type, but I love fall because of, you know, pumpkin spice, apples, and pumpkins, and I love all fall stuff. I just don't like fall clothes. Like, I love the season. I just don't like that it's cold and I have to wear layers. Because I, like, put some layers on your cereal box and see how I look, and then you holler at me, okay? But yes, y'all, it's fall. And I'm happy. It's fall and I'm happy. So I decided to do a story time because I'm in a good mood. <laughs> so this story time, um, I, I, I always like want to drop knowledge off on people, you know, like, um, because what Rocky Bear say, I ain't had no big homie. Thanks to life, I learned the game. Like all this pimping you see in front of you, baby, is from experience. Okay? Experience. I used to be a clown and I don't want you to be a clown too. So just listen to this story. And you won't be a clown if you just listen to the story and see what I did wrong. You feel me? Okay. So, story time. I caught her with somebody else. <laughs> Not really because. Pimpin' baby, we always come back. <laughs> okay? No, but okay, for real. I'm playing too much. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll right into the story. I'm talking too much. So, at this point in my life, I was a college student. I was going to the Art Institute of Illinois. That's downtown Chicago. Um, so I was going back and forth between Chicago and Gary a lot because I was going to school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four days a week. And I was at school for like eight hours a day. I think I had like two hours in between three classes. Yeah. Three. Yeah. I had two hours in between like three classes that like alternate throughout the week or whatever. And then I had a one class that was like five hours long on Thursday. But this, this that was just this semester in particular that I'm talking about. But, um yes so i'll so at this point i had like i had been dating you know well i ain't gonna say dating i was dealing with males right so um i don't know i i, I wanna i don't i don't want to say i don't want to say this and like people get the wrong idea of me but i'm a person i want to love like i want to love i want to love and be loved i want you know a marriage you know i want you know all that i want all that and it was like at a point for me where like I first started talking back to boys anyway to please my mom. And then it was like, I'm not even getting nothing out of this. Like I'm using, I, I, I was literally using people. Sad to say, but I really was like, I didn't care what they had to offer. Like what you, what you got for me though? And I don't, and I don't like being like that. And I, that's literally where I was at in my life. Like. I was not trying to make connection with none of them niggas. I was just, you know, what you got for me? Like, what you, what, what you gonna do for me? Like, that's how I was. And, and I don't want to be like that. So, I had came with my man like, I only really connect with girls. So, I'm just gonna start by talking to girls. So, um, yeah. I had expressed this to one of my college friends. And she like, bitch, what? You, gonna, you don't, you gonna do what? Like, I thought, wait, what? And so, I had to get her to hold her down and shit. So, I meet this girl. Me and this girl start talking. I tell my college friend about the girl. Uh, of course, my other friends and shit, too. Like, you know, they already knew the whole little you did. You know, because they're my real friends. You feel me? They, you know, they won 10 plus years, baby. Okay? But, I, you know, they already got the rundown. But I'm just going to use this girl because she got a lot of reason to do it. Why this story went the way it went. Okay? But, um, yeah, so I was dating with this girl. And I had gave my little friend a whole rundown. I her about stuff and walked the band. And then, um, I, I 
ain't gonna say like I just stopped talking about her, but I had like gave her the whole rundown. Like the first day I had stopped talking to the girl, I like called her, told her like, yes, bitch, I found a girl, like da 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 da. Call her, get her the whole rundown. And then like it was like a month I would say go back. Like every time this car would be outside her house, I would not hear from her. And I'm not gonna say like I'm a stalker. I mean I I have like borderline stalked somebody before. Maybe I should edit that out. <laughs> care so yes i have like borderline stalked somebody before because motherfuckers had me fucked up but and i did i and and i used to be like oh chad i used to be like i'm so thank god for growth because i am not the same person no more like i was sick that was i was literally sick like sick and didn't even know it just sick but um yeah so I was not like stalking her or whatever, but like, so we all lived like in the same kind of neighborhood or whatever. It was like my house, her house, my best friend's house. And I would take the main street to go to my best friend's house. And like the way the house, the girl's house was, um, it was like a T in the road, I guess. And her house was like the middle mark of the T. Like I didn't even have to go down her street to see her house. I could just turn my head, be riding, turn my head and I see everything. So like I would notice like, I would just be, I, I'm nosy, so I would just be driving past, see the car, and realize, like, dang, I ain't talked to her all day, what the fuck, what the fuck, I would notice that, and then it just, like, clicked in my head, like, every time that car is there, you never hear from her, like, what the fuck, like, she messed with somebody, and, like, the only thing with me was that, like, I ain't gonna say, like, I was pressed about it, but it was just, like, we gonna get to the bottom of this, because she used to be pressed about me acting single, because I was single. And she used to be so pressed about me acting single. Like, well, why you answer the phone for so-and-so? Why you want, like, stuff like that. So, it was like, I wasn't impressed about it. But it was like, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Because you're going to get up off my ass. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. So, okay. Since so I gave y'all the whole little history, the background and shit, like, whatever. So, it's like, the first day of the school week is a Monday. And, um... I had not talked to her that Sunday night before. And I bet that red car was outside. <laughs> but I had not talked to her that month, that Sunday night before that Monday. But she knew, like, my schedule and shit, like, how I would go to school and stuff. So, um, I'm on the train go to, going to school. And, like, because it took me, like, an hour or maybe an hour and a half sometimes to get from to and from school, I would use that time, like, at, like to study and stuff. Like, I use that free. That was, like, literally, like, I'm literally on the train doing nothing. Like, I'm about to go study. So, I would use that time to, like, do pay, finish up papers, start papers, do research, stuff like that. Do my homework, basically, on the train. That morning, she had called me, like, um, we talking and shit. She's like, and there's at the blue, she just like, yeah, I think I'm going to go to Chicago this weekend. Mad you. Oh, I left out a key fucking factor. She's on fucking house arrest, okay? That she's on house arrest. Let me tell y'all, y'all like house arrest. What the fuck? Let me tell y'all, at this part of my life, like, I was getting fast money. I was like, oh, you got a felony? How many? Oh, you got a gun charge too? Like, oh, come here, baby. Like, I was sick. I'm telling y'all, I was sick. <laughs> I was sick, like, disturbed. I was sick. Um, But, yeah, she was on house arrest. So, I, um, this not my first go around, you know, with somebody on house arrest or, you know, dealing with cases. So, I'm like, I have never heard of a case manager letting anyone go outside of the county, like, for nothing. Like, for nothing. I've never heard of that ever. So I'm like, what you gonna tell them you're going out there for? She like, I'ma just tell them that I'm doing um a job for my uncle, and um and it's like it's gonna be starting early in the morning, end of late at night. So I just need to stay out there, or I'm gonna miss the money and not make no money. Cause you know they will let you do stuff for money. They will let you go out of town for money, but it will have to be like, let's say like you're a truck driver or you're like um. Or artist or something and that's how you make your money that's how you support yourself is you know traveling so i'm like no that's not how it work but she just kept talking kept talking kept talking like and like steady elaborating this a lot like building up and i just cut her off me like oh okay that's cool like she talking and i was just like oh okay that's cool and just like cut her off like well you know i'm on the train you know i'll be doing my homework stuff so i'm gonna finish my homework and then i'll call you in between classes or something and she's like all right cool whatever so we get off the phone um it did not sit well with me but you know, I you know I had shit to do. Like I don't know if I was starting a paper or if I was doing my design project. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing, but one of the two. Cause I was in school for fashion marketing and management. So I don't know what I was doing, but I was doing something pertaining to school or whatever. 
And so that consumed my mind. I didn't really think about it or whatever. So I get to school. And my friend from school, you know, I had told her about, like, you know, me trying to talk to the girl and stuff. She was like, I ain't heard you talk about it since you brought her up. What's going on? Y'all still messing around or whatever? And I was just like, girl, it's so crazy that you that you asked me about her. Like, we um, we would meet up, like, um, at the same spot in the morning and walk to class. So, we would meet up there, you know, walking to class. And she's like, I'm not, we talking about it. I'm just telling her, like, you know, it is so crazy that you asked me about it because... Like, we've been vibing and stuff, kicking and stuff. Like, you know, it's been cool. But every time this car is outside her crib, I would never hear from her. And then I get had a whole run down her. Um, I see the car outside because she looked at me like, what? How the fuck do you know when it's a car outside her house? And, like, I had to get a run down, like, how close we live to each other and shit like that. So, she's like, oh, yeah, that's something fishy about that. And then I had to get her a whole run down about Chicago. And she was like me at the time. Like, she ain't, ain't, ain't no newbie. She wasn't no newbie dealing with felons, okay? Dealing with, you know, people in house arrest. So, she looked at me and I'm like, exactly. Like, as soon as she looked at me, I'm like, exactly. It does not sound right. Like, you know, I know I look innocent and, you know, sweet and stuff. But, exactly. Like, I'm not stupid. And she's like, yeah. So, what you gonna do? Like, how you gonna know if she lying or not? And I'm like, I bet if... I go past her house, that red car is going to be outside. I bet she is not going to be in Chicago. I bet that red car is going to be outside. But that person probably spending the weekend at her crib. And um, she like, what you going to do? I'm like, girl, I don't know. It ain't, it ain't really no way for me to find out. What I'm going to do, walk in her crib? <laughs> My friend like, yep. And then, like, if person was like, girl, what? Then it dawned on me, like, you and her grandparents are really cool. They just let you right on in. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I was sick, okay? I was fucking sick. So we left and stuff about it. Um, you know, whatever, whatever. The day go on, week go on. It's Friday. And um, the girl tell me, like, she about to get her stuff and leave, go to Chicago. But I'm like, all right, I'll talk to you on Monday when you come back. Um, cause she was going out there to be with her family. So if you out there being with your family, you know, I don't want to, you know, disturb that. Do your shit. Okay. So I'm like, okay, just talk to me on Monday. I just, just talk to me when you come back on Monday. She's like, all right, cool. So it's Saturday morning. I don't went out with my friends. I got a can of a little bit of hangover, feel a little sick. Um, I talked to my, um, my friend from school and she like, so it's Saturday. Is you going to go in there and see if that girl in there or not? And I'm like, I'm low key begging down. Like, I mean, I want to, but it's not that serious. And she was like, but no bitch. It's just like the point that you walk into her house. Like you got to do it. Like I'm telling you, I, we were sick. And I'm like, you know what? That would be funny as fuck. Cause if it is somebody in there, I just, that would just be so funny just to like see them, see me, see them. Like that would be the funniest shit ever. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, but I really don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to walk in here and whoever in there is going to try to fight me or uh, what's going to happen. So I'm going to call you back when I'm done. She's like, no, if I get off the phone with you, you're not going to do it for real. So she like, um, she's like, okay, as soon as somebody open up the door, I hang up. So I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever. And um, I walk up, knock on the door, the granddad open the door. It's like, oh, hey, baby, I didn't know you was coming. Walk the van. And my friend like, ooh. And hang up the phone. Like, she started crying. Like, I could hear her laughing and hang up the phone. And I'm like, yeah, so-and-so home. He's like, yeah, she upstairs. And I'm like, like, immediately, like, I don't know why. I knew what was going on, but in my heart, I wanted it to be wrong. Because, like, I did like her. Like, I did. I mean, I ended up being her girlfriend. And this is where the, me being a clown comes in. And I just don't want nobody else to be a clown like I used to be. Because just learn from my mistakes. Just don't be a clown. Okay. <laughs> but so i'm like i really did not like want it to be what it was you know i just wanted to you know me to be wrong for once in my life i just wanted me to be wrong about something about somebody so um yeah and i'm like okay i'm i'm, I'm just gonna go upstairs then <laughs> he's like okay baby and I, he just sat down made his little oatmeal you know went on i'm going upstairs at first i was walking light but then i'm like i just started getting anxious and i just started hitting it up them stairs like i was I was moving up the stairs. So, I get up the stairs. At first, I was going to knock on her door, her bedroom door, because it was closed. So, I was going to knock on her bedroom door. But I'm like, no, nah, I just opened it. <laughs> and I just, like, I just stood in the doorway, like, wow. 
it was like there was she was a weed smoker so they was hunting the girls in that smoking weed laid up on the bed smoking weed and what is so funny like it was legit what i thought it was gonna be like the girl i was messing with looked at me like she seen a ghost and but the girl that she was with looked at me like <laughs> i don't know if she was scared if she thought i was gonna try and fight her or what but she looked at me like like, she was finna shit on her or something like that. The whole situation was funny as fuck because, like, I did not want this to be true, but it is true, and this shit is funny as hell. So I walk in like, oh, wow. I said something, and then I seen something that was mad and grab, and grab it. And, like, I, I got, like, at first it was like, oh, wow. But then I got shitty, like, fuck, it's real. Like, shit, this girl really do fuck with somebody else. Damn. And she lied about it. Like, I would have not cared about her messing with nobody else. But, like, the fact that she was on my ass about me having options or dealing with other people. And that's exactly what she was doing. Like, it, it, it was just that whole point that I was shitty. Like, damn, you on my ass and this how you rocking? Like, what? Like, make that shit make sense, folks. So, I, I, like, I got shitty. Like, at first I was surprised, but then I instantly got shitty. Like... And the girl still looking at me like she got a shit, like she finna shit on herself. And in my head, I'm thinking like, girl, you not gotta worry about me because it's scared or whatever, nervous as you is, bitch. I'm I'm just that as much shitty, okay? So I did like, I turned down the stairs and I ran. I did like one of them, uh, on oh, Mori, when they like, you are not the father. And the girl's like, I'm running. I did damn near one of them. And as soon as I hit the stairs, like I'm running down the stairs, I could just hear her behind me like, who the fuck let you in? How the fuck you get in here? Like, who the fuck? What the fuck? And then, like, her granddaddy, like, just sitting there looking confused. And, he, and she like, why you let her in? Why would you let her in, granddad? Why would you let her in? And, and he just sitting there so confused because, you know, old people, like, he understand, like, something was off about his granddaughter. But he didn't understand, like, oh, they girls like that, too. Like, I don't think that clicked in his head at first, like, that that was what was going on. And I had stopped talking to her for like maybe two weeks or something like that. And then a month later, she was my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I was a clown because I did all that for no reason. And um, that's the end of the story. But I just want to say this. Um, don't be a clown. So it's like, don't. Them three or five minutes that, like, all that energy I am, like, that physical energy, I, like, I took in energy. I gave out energy. I felt things like, all that stuff, like, that takes a lot out of you. Like, just avoid it, sis. Live your best life. Like, and, uh, like, follow your female intuition. Like, you have your women intuition. You have it for a reason. Just follow it because it's there for a reason. It's there to guide you. It's through this life. Like, just listen to it. If something is telling you that that motherfucker's itchy, motherfucker iffy, motherfucker sketchy, they are. On to the next. Okay, and I'm just really, really so glad, like, I'm not glad that I went through stuff like this, but I'm glad I went through it while I was young, because at this time, I was like, what, 21? I'm glad I went through stuff like that when I was 21, rather than, like, at 24, being a clown like that, because, what? <laughs> Baby, nowadays, you fuck up, you, somebody finna flex up. You fuck up, they flexing up. Fuck is you talking about, like, piss out. Ain't nobody got time for that, Stevie? Mm hmm So, yeah, that's my story time. Don't be a clown, sis. If they're fucking sketchy and iffy, if you feel something, you're right, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm.